With the coronavirus still at large and a vaccine yet to be discovered, it seems that time is of the essence. I sat down over Zoom with UC Berkeley professor Dr. Mark Hellerstein to see what he believes may be key to defeating this virus. Specifically with COVID-19, it seems antibodies may not be the ultimate source of a vaccine. So there's these three reasons. Not good markers, not sensitive, short-lived, and possibly associated with worse disease. So I don't believe in antibodies by themselves. Mm -hmm. I think the data, the data suggests that there's a lot of reasons to be skeptical of using this. Although the data presents vaccine potential in T cells, Hallerstein is afraid companies may resort to a quicker solution. I think T cells have, have a lot of problems. And yet they're not being focused on because they're a little harder to measure and because a lot of, honestly, I think a lot of these companies are really just going head first into it. And, they, and certainly the, the government, the, the people in charge, at least in the, in the you know, political people, not the medical people, but they are very, very biased to getting a fast and dirty vaccine. The time sensitivity of finding a vaccine means there may not be as many vaccine trials, and in some cases, even less diversity. If a vaccine were to come out and it was the result of research and trials that came from a group of participants that were not diverse, it would worry me. I would assume that to get the best data, you would need like a bigger, like a bigger group is always better. So vaccines usually take years because you want to make sure that that, every, that there's a divergence in the uh, exposures and in the ultimate diseases. Hellerstein is hopeful that in the next six months, there will be more data to help solve this crisis. It's reasonable that we could have data in six months. I would like to have real biology data about what is the test that we want it, that correlates with the protection, and let's find the vaccines that do the best for that test. For CalTV News, I'm Amreen Singh.